My name is Maggie Kuykendall, and I was invited by Debbie Rhodes. I worked with her at Northwestern School District, and it took um, several times of her asking, and it was always interesting to me because Debbie was very excited about church, and she was always very um, enthusiastic about asking me, and then she would always make sure I knew that the invite was always there, but she tried not to come off too pushy. Um, so I would say it took several, several times. And then when I did show up, she was so excited that I came. I was just so surprised that someone was so excited just for me to come to church. My name is Debbie Rhodes, and um, I work at Northwestern as a teacher. And I was praying about who I should ask and wanted to be led by the Spirit about who to be asked. And I felt led to ask our speech teacher at school. And so I ended up asking her several times. And I mean, she was very nice about when I invited her. And But um, it took a couple of times to have her um, finally say yes, she was wanting to come. And, and I think uh, the Spirit had been working on her to uh, you know, to ha have her on a spiritual journey and to uh, continue uh, seeking him. And so she said yes, she thought she needed to, uh, wanted to come and know Jesus and, and study about the Bible and everything. And so she wanted to make church part of her life. I had been searching other churches and I thought I might as well give this one a chance, and especially since someone was so excited about it. I thought I, I should, and um, I just knew some of the members that were attending seemed to always be very nice and um, joyful, so I wanted to go and see what it was all about. When she finally showed up at church, it was like, oh, I'm so glad that she's here, and, and I wanted to experience all the good things about church and Jesus. and. It's just, I just love coming. I feel the spirit at work here. And I wanted her to feel the spirit at work here. I didn't grow up where we went as a family to church. And Debbie has been someone who's been a role model for me on, you know, the priority it takes uh, to get your children involved in church and making um, it a priority to bring your children to church. So I would definitely say with my family, we've grown in, um, just coming together in church and my children learning the importance of Jesus and um, just the strength of Jesus in my life um, throughout the years. If it's easier or harder to invite someone, it's, I don't know that it's any different before or after that I invited her. Um, if I felt led by the Spirit to invite somebody, I feel that I should do that. And so pretty much I pray and ask God to lead me to people and I feel that that um, the Holy Spirit is wanting them to start their spiritual journey and learn more about Him. I say never give up. I always would tell Debbie, don't give up on me. Like, I will be there. Or if I wasn't consistent in coming, I was like, thanks for not giving up on me. Or, don't give up on me. Like, I want to come. And for some reason, whatever it would be, um, keeping me from showing up, um, I knew that she would always be there and she would always be excited to see me. And so just never stop encouraging that person and, and letting them know that you would be there and um, with them and excited to see them and the invite would always stand. I just want people to feel like that they can invite people to be open and be themselves. And I think the main thing is to remember, hey, you're not out there by yourself. That the Spirit is with you, Jesus is with you, and He's walking with you and guiding you, and to rely on Him, what He will put the words in your mouth and just help you along the way.